Facebook friends. <clears throat> wow, I the lighting didn't show up this badly when I did my test. Sorry. Very bright this morning. I really should be doing this outdoors. But honest to goodness, I have to head out the door to teach a dance fitness class right after this video. And I just don't have time to fuss with our beautiful boy, Bo, who will want to go outside and then whom I will have to fight to get inside again when I head out the door to do a video. So I'm doing it from my wonderful Shindao studio. Um, today I want to talk about one of Don Miguel Ruiz's four agreements. And I talked about one of the agreements earlier this week, and I talked about it as, as if everybody knows what the four agreements are, and I realized, gosh, certainly not everyone knows. So, the four agreements are agreements that Don Miguel identified that if we simply chose to live by these agreements with ourselves in our lives, life would be so much easier, so much smoother, so much more gentle and flowing. And today's agreement is don't take anything personally. This is a big one and I used to really reference this a lot in my building confidence classes and boost your self-esteem classes. I used to teach classes through Chinook Learning Services, Continuing Education, through Best You Can Be, we did Believe in Yourself, Your Awesome Days, and Building Confidence Days. And this is always a foundational piece in that confidence boosting, self-esteem boosting process. And that is, don't take anything personally. It's important to understand that when someone speaks to you harshly, when someone speaks to you abruptly, when someone even calls you names or is mean to you, very, very good morning, Dan. Lovely to see you. Very, 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 very seldom does their comments, their attitude, their way of being have anything at all to do with you. Good morning, Mikesh. No, their way of being has everything to do with themselves, what they've been going through. Somebody might snap at you and speak sharply at you, yet how do you know what they just experienced prior to them speaking with you? Perhaps someone just chewed their butt off for something that they really didn't even do and so they're all upset because somebody was on their case. Or perhaps they've experienced some major tragedy in their life. Or who knows what's going on for them. But whatever is going on for them is affecting the way they're showing up in the world. And you might just happen to be the target about what they're feeling. The misery and the pain that they're experiencing is being released and it happens to be released on you. If you understand that that is the case most of the time, then you don't need to take anything personally and you can stand in that Shindao place of compassion. Compassion is such a fundamental principle of living the Shindao, the way of the heart. Compassion means having calm passion for others and for yourself. Being in that place of a calm acceptance that Things are the way they are in the moment. There's nothing you can do to change them. You can simply hold space for it to be what it is until it passes. For this too shall pass. That's a pretty famous line and it, there's so much truth. For this too shall pass. No matter what you're experiencing in any moment, it will eventually pass and another moment will come along and you'll feel differently. So Don Miguel Ruiz's agreement, don't take anything personally, can really, really be a big impact on relationships. When someone is being harsh or difficult with you, you can understand that it has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with that person and their perception of the relationship or their perception of what's going on in their world. And you don't need to take that on. You can simply listen here, acknowledge that there is some upset, there's some emotionalness going on behind what they're saying, and you might even acknowledge that. I hear some discomfort, or I hear some 
whatever, what, whatever, whatever, whatever word comes out is what you're sensing. I sense some, oh yeah, thumbs up. There's some agreement happening there. Good morning, Charvain. I sense some anger in what you're saying, or I, I sense some hurt in what you're saying. I sense some disappointment in what you're saying. Opens the door for them to talk about what's really going on and to stop downloading on you, to stop attacking you, basically. Don't take anything personally really does make relationships easier. And it makes your life easier. It's just more comfortable to zoom along through life. And, and I'm not saying don't be responsible for yourself and your actions. Of course you want to be. But do understand that when people are very, very uh, full of emotional outbursts, and especially when it seems completely unprovoked, the fact is, it has not been provoked by you. You just happened to be the receiver of their download release of whatever it is that's bothering them. Um, the power of I messages, Charmaine says. Yes, the power of I messages. I hear what you're saying. I hear your pain. I hear your, when you refer to I, yes, she says, okay, you got it, yes. When you refer to, refer to I rather than to you in speaking to that person, they will hear you more readily and it becomes easier to have a strengthened communication with them. So don't take anything personally. Practice that today and see what unfolds in your day. I would love to hear about it. This is it for my short live today. If you haven't read Don Miguel Ruiz's book, The Four Agreements, you might want to take it on. It's actually a fairly easy read and you'll find it can create some fundamental shifts in your life. Don't take anything personally. Have a beautiful day. Mwah. Love you. Namaste. And yes, you're welcome for the great reminder. Thanks so much for joining me, Charmaine. Lovely to see you here this morning. Same with you, Mikesh and Dan. Have a great day, everyone.